I'm Peter with ProLifeUnity.com and ProLifeNews.tv. I'm here with Tony Perkins. We're at the Family Research Council's uh, Values Voters Summit. That's right. And this event is an important event, isn't it? Especially with what's going on right now. Well, it's an annual event we have. This is our third annual event this year. Uh, over 2,100 people registered being here. We have uh, about 10,000 people uh, watching it online. And yeah, it, this is, you know, you've had the Democratic Convention, you've had the Republican Convention, and now you have a Value Voter Summit. This is a platform for the value voters, for uh, Christians, for social conservatives who are concerned about this nation, about its future. This is a platform for them to address the issues they care about, and, and that's what we've seen here this weekend. And with so many people now, let's say, watching what's going on as far as the uh, you know, the McCain-Palin issue is something that has sort of reinvigorated the Republican Party. What do you think about, um, in the sense of pro-life, how much of an effect do you think that's going to have? Oh, I think it's going to have a, uh, we've already seen it's had a tremendous impact. You know, uh, I'm seeing this, and I think it's, it's much truer among even younger social conservative voters is that they're less affiliated with the Republican Party, more attached to the issues. And we've heard all this about, oh, evangelical social conservatives don't care about life anymore. They're more concerned about global warming or this and that. They care about all the issues, but still a top priority is the issue of life. And since uh, it's become very clear through the, the selection of uh, Sarah Palin as his running mate, all of a sudden, John McCain has enthusiastic supporters. Mm -hmm. So you can't tell me that the life issue doesn't matter. It matters greatly to the voters of this country, and it is a defining issue. It's a defining issue of our generation. Well, those of us in the pro-life movement definitely are glad to see that there's so much energy that comes around whenever there's an election. You know, they definitely cater to us in many ways. Um, do you think that that's significant that it's only during then? Should well, it be more often? No, what, what I do you agree think? with you. It should be more often. I think that, um, but what we see here, and, and, I, and I don't want to, I think we should be very clear. I don't think that we should look and say, all right, the, the, our job is done, we've won this election, or that we've got the perfect people that will be putting in office if John McCain and Sarah Palin, Palin win. Mm -hmm. But, I'll tell you this, we have the most pro-life uh, platform for the Republican Party that we've ever had, most pro-family that we've ever had, even under a president who was more pro-life. Mm -hmm. uh, he did make a very clear, I think he signaled very clearly, that he understands the importance of our issues by the selection of Sarah Palin as his running mate. Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, if they're successful in winning uh, this presidential election, we have to continue to stand firm in our defense of human life. You know, we cannot elect the defense of human life. We have to stand for human life. Now, we put people in office that may share our values, but, you know, we have to continue to hold them accountable to stand for those values and support them when they do stand for those values. So our work mm -hmm. is far from over. Yeah. Our work is continual. We must remain vigilant and ever supportive of human life. And as the Family Research Council, you do a lot of that. You support human life. You support family values. It's a thing that uh, folks of you watching out there need to be aware of. How can they find out where you are and how to get more involved? Well, we have a lot of information on our website, frc.org. You know, family, faith, freedom. Uh, hmm. We are here to advance faith, family, and freedom. That's our mission. That includes life. I mean, life is fundamental. Without life, the rest of it really doesn't matter. And uh, so we. This is what we want to do. We want to educate America, not just in election, in election years, but all the time. We, we shouldn't just all of a sudden become, uh, you know, aware, politically aware every four years. We need to be politically engaged every day. You know, it's, it needs to be a part of who we are. We're salt and light. We've got to be salt and light in the political arena. And that's, that's not just, you know, we talk politics, people think all elections, campaigns. That's public policy. That's that's showing up at committee hearings. That's writing letters. That's sending emails. That's being a witness. Mm -hmm. That is standing for truth, for righteousness, standing for life. All right. FRC.org, for those of you out there who want to get involved, thank you for doing this. We think it's a great event. Of course, we'll help get it out there. And Well, Peter, know, we're glad you're here. Can. Appreciate you being here. Thank you, Tony. All right.